Hello, wrestling fans. Welcome to a brief history of wrestling. We're going to start this thing off in the cornfields outside of Waterloo, Iowa, with the godfather of American wrestling, Dan Gable. Dedication is the name of Dan Gable. He works out seven hours a day, seven days a week. We all know the stories. Fueled by a family tragedy, Gable became an absolute training fanatic. And when it was time to compete, he was ready. Throughout high school and college, Gable amassed an unbelievable win streak of 181 matches, only to lose the final match of his collegiate career. Gable looks a bit tired. Yes, he does. For a minute on the way. For the first time in high school, or his second collegiate career, Dan Gable has lost. Gable was down, but he wasn't out. It wasn't easy to take this defeat, but I gotta learn. I gotta live with it. It's life and I'm not gonna let this stop me one bit. He doubled down on his already maniacal training schedule, turning his attention to freestyle wrestling. In 1971, Gable exploded onto the international scene, and for the next two years, he dominated. Dan Gable, our brightest hope for a gold medal. World champion, Can Am champion. There's that quickness. You can see the blood oozing through Dan Gable's tape job he has across his forehead. But he's coming on stronger and stronger, Ken. There he turned him again. Sally, it appears, Ken is just trying to survive this. Gable into his chicken wing. He really puts the pressure on him. When he gets on top of a man, it's, it's nothing but pure intensity. He's in absolutely incredible condition. Perhaps the greatest in his field. Gable isn't our most decorated wrestler by any means, but he was the trailblazer. He was the first American to crack the code on how to beat the Soviets consistently. The top Russian official said, we are going to find a man to beat Dan Gable. This is the man, Ashruliev. He's got approximately two minutes to beat Dan Gable. I don't think he'll do it. Spoiler alert, he didn't do it. And that's why we believe Dan Gable is the most influential wrestler in American history. Need a wrestling mat? Come to Coach's Corner, an official representative of the Dollimer Mat Company.